So hello, Matt. Uh, could you present uh, yourself, please? Yes, so uh, Matt Phillips. I am the National Sales Manager for Weed Spider here in California. Um, we just went into production last year, at the end of last year. Uh, so this is our first production year for okay. everything. Um, could you also present Speed Spider quickly and what you provide? So if you take a step back, if you talk to growers in, in the past, everybody knows of Seed Spider. Everybody knows that has planted high density. They know of Seed Spider. Well, the Seed Spider was a planter. Well, Don Sambrook, the owner of Seed Spider, uh, invented the Weed Spider, which we see here. Um, and people have met him. They know him. They trust the product that he has. Uh, every high density uh, product that you've had out there, Don has been a part of it. Um, he saw the need for a niche market weeder, which he's now built. And he's also wanted to present it to the growers here in California and Arizona. Okay. So how many machines do you have like that already in California? This one, this, this, this machine here is the very first machine built for our California market. Now we have another machine over there getting uh, assembled, ready to go. Uh, that one's sold. And we have two more on the way as okay. of right now. And they're all sold. Okay. So really cool thing with the Weed Spider. It's super versatile. Uh, you could change configurations on a fly. It's, it's not like uh, changing a bunch of stuff around to go from five line romaine to six line romaine or to go to from wide bed to narrow bed. You could change it very easily. Here, we have this rail system that's on it, and all we have to do is loosen these screws up, slide the thing over. Very, very simple. You put it on top of the crop row. There's no need for measurement, nothing whatsoever. You put that in, into the computer, and it knows exactly where it's at. So in order to go from narrow bed to wide bed, we have plenty of room to put everything on the bar as it's assembled and then run it from there. Now, another good thing is too, is that we don't have to follow a transplanter whatsoever. So uh, what, what that means is, is that it doesn't matter if you transplanted four beds at a time, six beds at a time, three bed, wide bed at a time, or one bed at a time. This has all the adjustment in the world to move left, right, up, and down. Mm -hmm. So it, it drops all the way down. You have uh, eight inches of play down, eight inches of play right, eight inches of play left. Okay, that's what I, I've seen before is that yep, yep. it was not straight on the line and it, was it wasn't working. straight on the line, but that's okay because it automatically corrects itself. Okay. So, which is really cool. These, th this up here is LiDAR. This LiDAR up here, we got one here on, on, on each toolbar, we have a LiDAR camera. That LiDAR camera maps the entire bed. So what that means is, is that depending on the crevices and the furrows and how it looks, it maps it out. Well, what it sees there is what it's gonna read back here on the actual motor. So if it needs to go up or down, it's completely automatic. It's adapting. It's adapting the to the field that it sees. Autonomously. Autonomously. Um, really cool thing too is that uh, we have 250 volt batteries right here. This runs the entire machine. This runs everything for it. Um, now those 50 volt batteries, they do die or they do go down, which is why we put the generator on. So we have a hydraulic generator here. All it needs is about three and a half gallons per minute to actually go. And that charges both batteries. So we never have to worry about charging it back again at night. So the generator is plugged on the tractor. The, yep, hydro. exactly. So on this tractor right here, all we need is two sets or two, two ports for the hydraulics. First one's for folding, the other one's for the generator, and that's it. That's it, and that's you don't it. need a big tractor. You don't need a big tractor. So this tractor right here, uh, it's a M591, uh, which is a 91 horsepower tractor, and um, we don't even need 91 horsepower. We only need about 45 horsepower. So on all uh, three bed wide bed implements, six bed narrow bed implements, uh, you're only about 2,000 pounds total on the back. Okay, really so we right. don't need a lot to transport it and, and go. Um, kind of like what you were seeing too, we could fold this thing all the way up, mm -hmm. set the hood down, put it on a low boy or put it on a gooseneck and it's completely transferable from there. Mm -hmm. So you don't need a big uh, hauling guy to you know, transfer your tractor and implement all at once. 
And you have a solar panel on the top of the cover? Correct, what correct, yeah. For? So this solar panel up here, this charges about, this trickle charges your batteries up to about 25%. So when, when we're running here, this, is, this solar charges about 25%. So an, an, an additional two hours or three hours is what you can get okay. if you're not running the generator. Okay. What you see here too is also you can look at these models. These heads are sold. This is production ready. On the other models, on the other heads, they're a little smaller. What we notice is that the smaller heads and motors don't penetrate the ground as well. So Don's upgraded those to the brand new heads, okay. which you see here. So we have a larger motor on top and a larger motor on the side. An another thing to kind of talk about too is the different blade sizes. And this blade right here is, it's, it's our medium size cutter. Well, we have every different type of blade you can imagine that can go out there. We don't even know which ones are best yet for different crops. D depending on your plant to plant spacing, we don't know yet. Uh, however, that doesn't stop us. We can, we can build whatever type of blade possible, whether it be a square blade like you see here or a triangle blade or a circle blade. Okay. So we could, we could adapt to any different type of situation or plant to plant spacing that's out there. Guys are buying these for the mechanical weeding side of things, uh, which is huge. However, you don't just get the mechanical weeder. You get a thinner and also a herbicide sprayer with it combined. So on this section right here, what we're doing the same type of movement that it has, now this is a spray nozzle. That's a spray tip on the, on the bottom, all stainless. And what it does is that you can uh, spray an exact amount of herbicide on top of the plant instead of wasting it all throughout the whole field. You can spray it directly on top of the plant depending on the plant size. So it's basically spot spraying? Uh... Correct, okay. correct, correct. And it's very easy just to change a blade, you just change the nozzle, Okay. that's it. This option will be on a different machine or you, it's, it can Every be machine's gonna be the same, okay. every machine, which is really cool too. Um, a lot of growers have talked to us and I, I think a couple other companies out there, uh, depending on what crop you're gonna go into or what you're gonna weed or spray, you have to buy the algorithm. That is not the case with us. Mm -hmm. What you see is what you get. You'll get everything all in one. Concerning the price, can we uh, talk about it? Yeah, so what you see here is, um, this customer actually bought it for a six bed narrow bed machine. So there would be a, a couple more units out, out here. So a six bed narrow bed is about $620,000. No, going down to the smaller side of things is the four bed. Uh, four beds about $450,000, $500,000. subscription that we have to put on the, the top subscription of that? that you have to have, first year is waived for free. Um, so it's $28,000. Um, a year for service and maintenance fees. I think uh, that's it. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you.